14 Ways to Make Sex Super Hot and Intimate You can probably expect to see a wide variety of sex when you turn on any romantic comedy, steamy Netflix series, or teen vampire show. There is no one-size-fits-all approach to how people hook up, ranging from rough and dirty to soft and sensual. But if the romantic, passionate scenes are what catches your attention, you may be wondering how to imitate that hot, private sex in real life. Because it's not always as simple as the movies make it seem, if you've ever tried, you might have realized. This is mainly because different people's definitions of intimacy vary. We all have different experiences, so there isn't a single definition that everyone will agree upon, says marriage and family therapist Rachel Wright, a sex expert for Zumia. Therefore, intimate sex may mean playing with BDSM toys and having impact play for one person while it may mean a night of missionary and cuddling for another. Whether you prefer traditional or spicy sex, most people imagine intimate sex to be an emotionally intense, connection-heavy sexual experience. Wright claims that physical intimacy and emotional intimacy, a sense of closeness and trust, are what defines sex as being sexually intimate. Touching in a way that enhances closeness and desire. While it might appear that this only occurs in committed relationships, this isn't always the case. Tayomi Morgan, a sexologist and tantra practitioner, argues that intimate sex can be had with anyone. It's not reserved for a particular kind of relationship or person. However, the typical sex offender frequently tries to suppress their feelings or intimacy to avoid feelings from developing. The good news is that acquiring the skills necessary for having intimate sex only requires trust, openness, and a few chef's kiss pointers from yours truly. Here is exactly how to get intimate with your love, as recommended by the experts who know how to do it best, whether you're already in a relationship, just want to learn, or want to increase the eroticism of a flame. 1. Identify what intimacy means to you. First things first, advise is right. Determine what intimate sex entails for both you and the person or people you are having sex with. It might be much more difficult to connect in the present if you don't do that. To better understand your desires, have an intimate brainstorming session and jot down a few words or ideas. 2. Select a person or people you can believe in. Regardless of your relationship status, you can have intimate sex with anyone, but it works best when you already feel some sort of emotional connection. Intimate sex is generally great with someone you feel close to and safe with, according to Wright. For some people, that might mean being in a committed relationship, and for others, it might just mean having a trustworthy partner. Whether or not the relationship has been defined, you should first make sure there is mutual respect before getting too close and personal. 3. Always, always, always communicate. Pillow talk is absolute not overrated, and we'll be the first to tell you that. One of the foundations of connection, according to Morgan, is communication. Knowing a person's needs, turn-ons, and desires is essential to creating a closeness that allows them to participate in sexual activity. To help foster that ooey-gooey connection, talk before, during, and after sex. 4. Move slowly. Why not use a little, or better yet, a lot, of foreplay to increase the intimacy of the situation? Intimate sex, according to Morgan, is characterized by slow and conscious movement that emphasizes mutual pleasure and satisfaction. So take advantage of this opportunity to break out the massage oils, engage in some sensual outer course, and pay close attention to each stroke. 5. Include tantric components. According to Morgan, tantric sex is a traditional type of intimate sex that focuses on developing a close bond with both the other person and oneself. When done properly, it can assist you in achieving a completely blissed out sexual state that heightens sensations and deepens connection. To learn more, enroll in a legitimate Tantra class. Alternatively, adopt the lotus position and practice mindfulness and breath control to stay alert and focused. 6. Attempt eye gaze. After all, the eyes are the windows to the soul, and gazing into each other's eyes while having sex is a simple, yet highly effective, way to connect. Wright recommends traditional missionary sex because you practically face-to-face, -face, while Morgan adds that the cowgirl position is great for incorporating synchronized breathing. Just remember that blinking is recommended. You're not competing in a staring contest, you're just having sex. 7. Prepare the scene. Intimate sex occasionally requires a little more preparation than casual quickies, 
which can occur almost anywhere. Take the time to tidy up your space, light a few candles, and get rid of any distractions because your surroundings can have a big impact on how you feel. When you're concentrating on your laundry or attempting to ignore a ringing phone, it's difficult to connect with others. Allow yourself to experience your emotions. You should not suppress your feelings at this time. According to Morgan, intimacy requires honesty, openness, and a willingness to trust oneself. When the chemical cocktail has settled after orgasms, be prepared to face your emotions as a result of your decision to engage in intimate sex. Work on being open and vulnerable with one another and fully surrender to the moment rather than trying to hide or mask your emotions. 9. Be purposeful. One of those times when you shouldn't just squeeze your boob or suck your finger to get the job done. Instead, you should think carefully about where, when, and for what reasons you touch. Keep in mind to respect your partner's preferences, the ones you've already discussed, and check in frequently. The ideal way to sync your movements and awaken the senses without having to get too grabby, according to Morgan, is in a spooning position with lots of skin-to-skin -skin contacts. 10. Masturbate. You can have intimate sex alone. It's not necessary to have intimate sex with a partner or partners. Take your time stroking your body, practicing edging, or even just observing yourself masturbate rather than just rushing to orgasm as usual. Mutual masturbation, according to Wright, can be a very intimate trust activity if you do decide to include a partner. It's also a good way to discover firsthand how someone prefers to be touched. 11. Get some inspiration. Don't be afraid to bring in some visual aids if you're having trouble picturing what intimate sex looks like for you and are feeling stuck. Use sex scenes from television programs as inspiration or look to erotic literature for ideas. The Codal Alignment Technique CAT, which is described as creating the ultimate connection, is a good place to start. 12. Utilize toys. It's not necessary to experience an orgasm to have good sex, but if you picture your private encounter as a series of happy endings, a sex toy might be what's missing. For those with clitorises, a device like the Zumio Xena is a great choice because it provides targeted stimulation and fits easily between perspiring. 13. Look into anal. Anal sex, according to Wright, is a great way to increase the intimacy of your sexual experience because it typically calls for a lot of planning, communication, and trust. Just like with intimate sex, you need to move slowly, talk about boundaries, and stay alert to one another to have good and safe anal. And lube, too. Additionally, you'll need a ton of lube. 14. You get better with practice. It might take some practice to get the hang of having intense, emotional, intimate sex. Morgan advises incorporating it into your regular sexual routine for this reason. She claims that not only will you get better at it, which will lead to greater connection and better bonding, but you'll also open your heart chakra, which will make your life in general healthier, happier, and more fulfilling. I'm so happy for you.